We're just joined now by the Arizona campaign chairman for the Trump campaign. He is Jeff David. He's also the state treasurer of Arizona. Je Jeff, if I could ask you, since you're with the campaign, uh, you heard Kaylee commenting here, but you've certainly heard the criticism, uh, the, the appearance of this sort of Zig Heil kind of, kind of pledge, but also the, the positions. What, what is your response to that kind of criticism? Well, it's just absurd. It's, it's you know, the more... Uh, the more scared the establishment gets that Donald Trump is going to be the nominee, the more ridiculous the attacks are that they use against him. And if you're saying that uh, raising a hand in the air is now, if any time you do that, it's a Hitler comparison, then, uh, you know, I go to church on Sunday, and there's a lot of people, when they're singing, they raise a hand in the air. Or when you go to court and you put your hand on the Bible and you raise one hand in the air, does that mean all those were inspired by Hitler? No, of course not. So it's absolutely absurd. You know, Donald Trump but Jeff, but Jeff, uh, to be has fair, great to fun be, with to his fair, audience, and he, to and he wanted fair, to make sure symbolism. everyone voted. He said, hey, raise your hand in the air and tell me you're going to go vote. And it's, it's just absurd. The whole thing but, is absurd. But to be fair, Jeff, that, that symbolism comes with hard positions that, that the candidate himself has, has posited repeatedly and, and defended. Things like banning Muslims from the country, things like changing libel laws, uh, deporting, forcibly deporting 11 million people, as I mentioned earlier. It's, it's that connection that many people are making to, to, to positions that, that strike you know, many people on both sides, frankly, Democrats and Republicans, as authoritarian, not democratic. Those weren't Hitler's positions. Hitler's position was to go take over the world and go and forcibly use the military to dominate other countries. And nothing like that has ever been said by him or any other candidate that I know of. So uh, it's, again, it's a ridiculous comparison, and I'm, I'm surprised it's getting any airtime at all, quite frankly. Jeff, Jeff, just in terms of the effects on a key day, Super Tuesday 2 today, key state, certainly Michigan, a, a, big, a big prize for, for the Trump campaign. Is the campaign concerned about these associations and that it will give people, give voters pause as they go into the voting booth who, who might have voted for Trump, that it'll make them change their minds? Well, we think that voters are smart enough to see through it. It's just a typical political attack. Obviously, you don't like to see it. They always save these until, you know, right on game day, right on election day, and they'll drop these crazy things, kind of like you saw that new crew, you know, Cruz did it to Ben Carson, and now the Cruz campaign or somebody associated with them did another email like that saying that Marco Rubio was going to be out and you're wasting your vote voting for him. And so all these attacks come right on election day where you see these kind of things. And so there's always that concern of, wow, you know, why, why do they do this? But, uh, you know, it's politics and everyone sees through it. And quite frankly, this attack is so blatantly absurd that I, I don't think it's gonna give anybody pause. But, uh, you know, it's just something you wish wasn't a part of politics. I wish they would stick to the issues. Jeff DeWitt with the Trump campaign in Arizona. Thanks for joining us today.